Here we've got an HR diagram. So an HR diagram has two axes, one of colour and one of absolute magnitude. So when we think about the colour of a star, we're essentially saying how hot is it? And when we think about the absolute magnitude, we think about how bright it is. We've got three regions, we've got P, Q and R, and we're asked to identify which type of star or astronomical object this um, corresponds to. So if we look at P, we can see because of where P is, that is quite close to the left-hand side of the colour, which means it's quite um, hot. So that tends to be our white stars and things like that. But equally, it is not very bright because it is quite low down on the absolute magnitude. So that means that P is a white dwarf star. If we look at Q, we can see that Q spans a great big range here. So we have stars that are... Um, very hot and very bright, down to stars that are not so hot and not so bright. So this huge, great big range. So that is our main sequence star. So Q is a main sequence star. When we look at R, we can see that R is to the very far right of our colour spectrum. So that means it's kind of red. It's much, much cooler. But you can see that in terms of absolute magnitude, it is very, very high up. So we have something that is bright, but is actually quite cool. So in this case, we have got a red giant star. So R is a red giant star. Then we are asked to define the absolute magnitude of a star. So there's two things you need to include here. You can see that from the fact that there are two marks given here. And the first thing is it is a measure of brightness. But when they came to identify and classify stars, the issue is all stars are different distances away. So you have to standardize that because you can't fairly compare a very close star to a very far away star because it would look much brighter if it was closer. So not only is it a measure of brightness, but it is a measure of brightness at a standard distance. Now, if you happen to know what that distance is, you could say at a distance of 10 parsecs or 32.6 light years, but you're not required to remember those numbers. It's sufficient to just say it's a measure of brightness at a standard distance or a fixed distance or at the same distance. And those two points will get you both of the marks.